Let me get straight to the point, yeah? I'm back. Diary of Bad Man Shorts. Back every day. Actually, not every day. Out every week. Friday, 6 p.m. Brother, man, so committed to this YouTube thing. I even turned around to my friend and I was like, bruv, I'll make a deal with you. If I don't stay committed on YouTube, I will suck your bum. Did it really make sense, the deal? We're not friends anymore, that's for sure. Told me to delete his number. I haven't spoken to him since. His choice. Which is kind of a good thing because I probably would have lost a bit. Like after a week. And he even turned around and said that I need the exorcism, which I strongly disagree. You know one of those ones when you're tied on a bed and it's not even kinky? With the Pakistani Malana, who's married to a girl that is younger than his daughter from a previous marriage. With a pint of Zum Zum. One of those ones. I'm just so ready for this bruv. Or as my Uncle Tariq pronounces it, Redis. I'm not gonna lie, I hear bear noise in the background. It's kinda mad, I, I said to my mum, look, I'm gonna make a video on YouTube, can you like keep the noise down? And now she's drilling something. Like that's just taking the piss, in it? How am I gonna tell my mom to keep it quiet and then she starts drilling the wall? That's like me saying, look after my dog and you sexually assaulting it. Like, you know what I mean? So anyway, yesterday I was watching Kuri Station, innit? You know one of those ones when you think you're home alone? But I wasn't and my dad just come out of nowhere. And you know that Asian parents wanna start a conversation when they hit that one line. What are you doing? Ah, oh, shit, man. I hate when old people try to talk to you, innit? Like, bear coughing and shit. But anyway, I didn't want to talk to him. Because you know what it is? Once I say something, he will turn that into a conversation. And that conversation would lead into him telling me a story. So the only way I can prevent a story is just replying back with a one-word answer. Nothing. And then you know what he said? Nothing. <laughs> that was my dad's name. No, it wasn't. Let me tell you a story about my dad. 20 years ago in Pakistan, my dad tell me to milk an ostrich. You can't milk an ostrich, though. So I was in Faisalabad milking the ostrich. So then the ostrich is telling me, hey, you got nice hands. I'm like, excuse me, this is not a date. And then the ostrich turned to me and he said, are you the Sunni or are you the Shia? What the bloody hell difference is this? It doesn't bloody matter what I am. The ostrich was talking to you. It's a bloody racist ostrich. So I got a knife. That's a pen. Then I make a joke. I said, hey, he's a very Sunni. Out. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I said, Hey, haven't you noticed how Sunni it is outside? Sunni. <laughs> I stab him in the bloody neck. Then I'm looking in his eyes. I say, excuse me. I think you are bloody dying. You are dying, brother. And then I look in his eyes and I say, see you later. <laughs> I make a joke. I don't get it. Instead of saying Sunni, I uh, said Sunni. Instead of saying see you later, I uh, say uh, Shia later. It's a word play, it's playing with the words. I'm really good with the wording. I once had a job where I had to teach English to English people. This is a real life story, I'm telling you. You know the problem with you kids is you don't understand us the comedy. You don't know how to laugh. You don't know how to be happy. I'm bloody funny guy. I'm so funny I can make hyena laugh. You thinking hyena already laughed a lot anyway. That was also a joke. And you're not laughing. I'm a good with jokes. And I'm thinking why do parents don't get us? Are we so different? Being an Asian kid in 2018 is hard. Even though I'm not a kid now, I'm a, I'm a man. Now. Maybe I should stop buying toys. Anyone wanna buy some toys? How do you know if you're an Asian kid in 2018? I'll tell you how. 2018 Asian girl slash guy starter kit. So if you can relate to any of these things, or know anyone who relates to any of these things, bait them out in the comment section below. So here we go. Asian girl 2018 starter kit. Number one, you have to have an Instagram account with three of the following lines in your bio. No DM slash boys allowed, even though most of the followers you've accepted and the people you are following are actually guys. All you have in your bio, professional model, DM for inquiries. Bruv, no one's gonna DM you about professional. Girls, you can wear Gucci shoes and tag Gucci in it, but that don't make you a Gucci model. The only professional modeling you've ever done in your life is your year seven to year 11 school year photos. You know those ones when you're sitting on a bench and taking a selfie with your Haram boyfriend outside Premier Inn is not modeling. It's actually haram. Or when girls write MUA in their bio. And I'm like, raw, I've seen the makeup that you've applied to your own face. That don't look professional, bruv. That looks worrying. You look like the hijabi from The Conjuring. And then you get those girls who do those lovely Islamic quotes on their bios. And they make you believe that Islam is their life. 
And you're like, mashallah, sister. But then I take back the mashallah because I see you outside faces every Saturday night with your boobs out and your hairy legs showing. Like, don't get twisted, I'm not judging because I'm not one to judge. But then again, it's my video, so yeah, I guess I am judging actually. But then you get those independent girls with that one independent baller line. But you've never left London though. Why are you trying it? And Pakistan with your parents don't count cause two. Like every Asian girl has an OV bag. But they only have one because we're well aware that you can't afford two. Three. You need an aux cable in your handbag. So when you're driving with Bushra to the local shisha place, you can listen to your favourite bashment tunes on Spotify. Yeah, we are cool like black people. You're not black, bruh. Bruh, you're put on. You're whiter than chalk. You look like Greek yogurt. Four. Some Huda Beauty products. Is it Huda or Huda or Hudu or Hu... Hu... Hudi or... Uh, what? How do you pronounce it? Five. You know that selfie like case that makes your skin tone look like Kali Jenner? Even though you look more like the guy in Get Out. Six. Those gold ankle bracelets. That's tighter than a Gujarati on a budget. I'm joking, Gujaratis. You're not tight. But my manager, he is. And he's Gujarati. I'm just saying. And number seven. You know those spare jeans that you put in your bag? The ones you put on just before you go back home. Because whatever you were wearing before was inappropriate. But you want to show your parents that you're not about that life. Even though you are and you just have spare jeans. Hey, Hey, Michael Kors watch. Now Asian Boys 2018 Star Attack. One. Your rusty vape. Yeah, what are you looking at, cuz? Man, things you smell. <coughs> and old. And as you walk past them, all you can smell is strawberry cheesecake. Two. A few bitcoins. And then changing your Facebook employed status to full time stockbroker. No, you're unemployed with internet. Why are you talking about cryptocurrency when you only got 14 pounds in your bank? Three. You have to be in at least one religious WhatsApp group. But she will mute, cuz you know you can't leave. Especially when your mum's in it. Four. Pretending that you know everything about bodybuilding and you can take as many steroids as you want, but you still have a tid. That's like marrying a beautiful woman with a willy. Oh, where am I? <laughs> Number five. Using Paco Rabanne, one million. Six. Oh, that's the camera. Six. Get a car that you can't afford, but you got your lease for two years and you know you can at least afford four months. And after four months, when they take the car away, you're like, money. I've already taken at least 17 to 18 pictures with it. I'll buy a new one next year with my bitcoins. I'm at. Why did you knock? I called you in. Can you say seven? Seven. Having a random shisha mouth tip in your jacket. Because the only thing you do, apart from going to Selfridges and not buying anything, is shisha. And eight. If you're an Asian boy, you have to keep going Morocco every year. For the historic buildings. If you're watching this with your parents right now and you've been to Morocco, don't try to say that you needed a beach holiday. There is no beach in Marrakesh. So make sure you like and subscribe. However, the one thing that I love most about Dairo Batman shorts is the message in the end. Story time. One day a little boy named Joe came into the kitchen and he handed a piece of paper to his mum. And the kid said, You owe me lot of money. Then she read the list and it said, for cutting the grass, five pound. For cleaning up the room this week, one pound. For going to the store for you, 50p. Babysitting the kid brother while you went shopping, 25p. Taking out the garbage, one pound. For getting a good report card, five pound. For cleaning up and making the garden, two pound. Total old, 14 pound 75. Then his mother was just standing there, looking at him. So then she grabbed the pen, she turned the piece of paper around, and then she started writing. And then when she finished writing, she gave the piece of paper back. So we started reading and it said this. For the nine months I carried you while you were growing inside me. No charge. For all the nights that I sat up with you, doctored you and prayed for you. No charge. For all the trying times and all the tears that you've caused through the years. No charge. For all the nights that were filled with dread and for the worries I knew were ahead. No charge. For the toys, foods, clothes and even wiping your nose. No charge. Son, when you add it up, the cost of my love is no charge. When the boy finished reading it, he looked at his mum, tears coming down his cheek, and he said, Mum, I sure do love you. And then he wrote on the piece of paper in big, bold letters, paid in full. And the moral is, you will never understand what a parent's worth is until you become a parent. So be a giver and not an asker. Especially with your parents. There's a lot to give. Besides money. So if your mom's close to you right now, give her a big hug, give her a big kiss, and tell her that you love her. And it doesn't need to be Mother's Day for you to do that. You should do that every day. Happy Mother's Day. Woodies. <laughs> Look at you watching this video like... <coughs> it's a very good boy, this one. <coughs>
<laughs> you should love oh, your mother. You, you <laughs> <like this. laughs> love me!